Hello, I am here in my backyard. I was originally planning to go to the barn. I was originally planning to go to the barn, but it turns out my car is not here. My husband took it. Oops. I thought we had an understanding, but I guess not. I was planning to make some content for my other channel, which is a horse channel, but instead I am now in my backyard and I'm going to do a little self-portrait photo shoot, which I'm actually not the best at, but you know, you gotta practice somehow. So let me show you what I've got. Today I'm using my Sony A4 and a infrared trigger remote. After a little bit of confusion, I discovered that the feature won't work on the a7 IV, so I'm going to go back to what I know, the A7 III. So I'm going to do a test shot here first, just in front of this bush. Okay, so it's time for the big reveal. We'll start with our first photo, which was just taken in front of the bush, the bush, and here it is. So, honestly, that one's... I don't mind this one. I think it's okay. It's not like the most fantastic portrait in the world, but it's pretty good for a self-portrait, I think. I always try to do things with my hands. It makes a photo more interesting. Now, my critique for this one would be I got cropped off. My hand got cropped off, but it's pretty hard to judge where you are without seeing the viewfinder when you take the photo. Uh, so I'll just have to work on that. But otherwise, I think it looks nice. Time to reveal our second photo. I had trouble picking one that I liked in the set because I kind of hated all of them. This one was okay. I actually don't mind photos that don't show my face, but I don't like the bottom of my shoe showing, and I don't like this awkward angle of my hand there. If I could improve those things, it has potential, so it's okay. So I have my next location here, and I picked this spot because it looks interesting and it's kind of simple. I don't like shots that have a lot of stuff going on. I like things, you know, sim always simplify. Simplifying makes shots better. Right here, oh my kids. I chose this location. So we are going to see how it turns out. Um, the problem with self-portraits is that you can't really tell what you look like during the portrait. You have to just kind of hope for the best. Now we are getting progressively worse. I actually thought this photo would be really cool, neat positioning, uh, but the, the lighting kind of ruined it for me. So it's way too blown out in the back and it's way too dark in the front. I could have benefited from a reflector. I do like my pose though. I think I have a nice S-curve going on here. Uh, my hand is really wonky. You can actually see the trigger remote in my hand. I'm okay with the composition. I think it looks pretty good. Just the lighting just ruined this one for me. I have to be careful of that. I'm now in my final spot here. This time I'm just gonna try to go for Kind of me on open sky with a border can't, can't see my, with a border of um tree one of my favorite styles of photo is just subject on blue sky unfortunately my tripod i i can't angle this well enough this time so we're not doing it this time the fully but so we're doing an alteration of it hey this is our setup right here camera Here's what it maybe will look like. I mean, I can't do it. So we will see. Now the big reveal. A total mess up. Unfortunate technical difficulties. My remote stopped working. I don't have enough technical knowledge to know why, so we'll just have to go with what we have. And uh, I'll fix it for next time. That just seems to be the way it goes. Honestly, it's probably out of batteries. But. I don't can't run in and get a battery at this point. It's one of those little ones that look like tiny little dimes or something, so children can easily swallow them if your child eats money. Yeah, let's go see what we have then. 